a bizarre thing, this, and rather lovely. Um, at the end of the tour with Daphne's Flight, so that's September last year, I got an email from somebody in America. Somebody had done um, a couple of tracks for um, a very odd little project called The Parlour Songs, um, and I sang, you know, from the turn of the 1800s into the 1900s, Parlour Songs. Um, and this guy, uh, somebody put him on to me. So the, the guy's name is Paul Mostella, Um I don't really know his background. I've never met him, but we've worked together now several times. Um, I did uh, Home Sweet Home and a, and a track with uh, Richard Thompson on that particular thing. Anyway, I hadn't heard from him since. Like, So two, having when you say not met him, so this all just happens over email over, correspondence? Over email, yeah. They send me a track. I put it into my computer. I send him them stuff back and they go, oh, that's great, but can you do it like this? And I go, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that's marvellous. Um, so... Um, so it was kind of odd to hear from him because, you know, I hadn't heard from him for a couple of years. And he said, look, there's a friend, a dear friend of mine has done this project, um, um, com- uh, putting W.B. Yeats poems to music. Um, and he's not he, he's not a professional musician, but, you know, he's an incredibly gifted man. He's a professor at some um, university in Midwest uh, America. Uh, and he said, I'll... I'll I'll send you what he's done, uh, but I'm in, I'm encouraging him to do some more versions, more in a more Celtic vein. And I thought you'd be perfect, blah blah blah. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I don't know anything about W. B. Yeats other than he's, you know, a, a very very well respected um, romantic poet. So he sent me the album, and I thought it was a bit, um, well, just not my cup of tea. A bit a bit operatic, really, in its approach. A beautifully done. A uh, lovely singer, very nice arrangements, um, but uh, and I and I had to write back and say, well, as lovely as this is, I I, on, I could not, uh, with the best will in the world, sing in that register because it was a soprano. Uh, and um, but what I'll do, just to give you an idea, what they'll sound like in a different um, in a different voice, I'll do some a cappella versions of a couple of those songs, um, and then at least you'll have an idea. So I did that, and the guy really liked what he heard. Um, um, Raymond Driver is the the composer's name, and and so this kind of very strange odyssey began uh, on the Isle of Man. From there, I went to Perth to visit my brother, and whilst I was in Perth, a first track arrived. So I did something in Perth. I did something in Brisbane, on uh, with my computer sat on my friend's bed while I was kneeling on the floor singing into a microphone. <laughs> and Amazing. then the last one, <laughs> the last one I did. Uh, similarly, in uh, my sister-in-law's garage in New Zealand, again with the you know the computer propped up somewhere, a load of towels around me so the the vocals don't you know bounce off the walls or whatever. So the whole thing's been um, marvelous. And there's this one particular track that I just fell in love with. And when they, I, I did the vocal to a piano track, and then they add uh, um, instruments as they go along. And they've gotten some really spectacular um, Celtic players actually. Um, to participate, I won't be the only voice. There, you know, there. It's a bit like the um, the parlor songs. It's a, con- a co- collaboration with lots of people, um, and um, but they've invited me to do three. Uh, I've done two, and there's a third one on its way. And this one, I just think, is so beautiful. It's called the Mask. I it really appealed to me. The the lyric, the poet, the poem really appealed to me because it's ever so slightly dark. And <laughs> Well, we're more than happy to have it a little bit of dark. Uh, on the but show. I just think the the arrangement's really sweet, um, and uh, and I had it played at a dear friend's uh, memorial service on Friday in LA because I couldn't be there myself. But I got permission again to to use this track as a because he would have loved this. <laughs> he would have oh, loved it. 